today I'm um, back and working with contemplate um, with Drupal there's a there's a ton of ways to show content and um, great ways to show it you can use uh, views and contemplate and um, custom forms um, and custom layouts uh, if you really want to get into, into your custom templates um, contemplate is an easy way to attack the code and use the code without having to actually get in your, into your PHP files and create new ones. Um, theming, that's a completely different uh, a completely different animal. But um, I had a user that wanted to uh, display up to 100 photos in a view, uh, or not within, within, a, within a, a blog post. But if they only posted 30, the way we did it, we added tables in there and it would throw a whole bunch out. And I know tables is a bad thing to do, but it was really quick and dirty to get it done. We could have done it as view with an argument and and uh, inserted it in there, but um, what I found is contemplate is a really easy way to do um, a kind of a mixture of the PHP code and pulling the stuff for the for the for the notes. So, um, or rather, hide stuff when we need to. So, what we ended up doing was creating these nodes um, that would only display the rows of pictures if the pic pictures existed. Um, so, and there's a really easy way to show, I'll show you how to do with Contemplate, but first thing, first you gotta install Drupal and Contemplate. Um, create your content type, or use an old content type that you've already got that you wanna modify. Um, like I've got here with this thumbnail with the shadow. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this Contemplate, kinda throw it all the way across, uh, all four images across, and I'm gonna create some new stuff. But first things first, um, let's go ahead and enable Contemplate gonna go into my modules here and content templates right there save it and we're good contemplate has been installed now I've got it right here content templates great this is exactly what I want um, the one I'm gonna be modifying is the picture and you can see what content templates are you, you don't have to enable it for everything just for certain things um, so I'm gonna enable it for the uh, teaser in the body I'm actually gonna make it the same thing um, but I'm going to go ahead and edit the template um, of the teaser first, and you can see it's got this thing uh, to add the label and then add the uh, picture, the array of the pictures. I don't want to add the whole array because I don't need the whole array. I, I want to add individual pictures um, because I, I don't want them going straight down and I don't want to have to do special theming. I want them going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, kind of in a, in a grid like I would get with views. So um, first things first, I'm going to take a look at my teaser variables. And this is a very, 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 very helpful thing to look at because um, this is where all your information contemplate shows you in Drupal. shows you a whole bunch of stuff to do out here. Um, and I apologize for talking fast. I'm, I'm kind of going through it real quick. But the ones I'm really looking for, um, field picture status and uh, then this field picture view. Um, now I've got some code uh, over here that actually has... Uh, the wrong label because this one came from the other one but uh, we're going to change it to field picture replace all close okay so I've got this code out here um, and like I said the, the field picture view and field picture uh, status now the cool thing about this is if you want to we're just going to delete this stuff we'll affect the teaser output and we're going to delete this stuff anyways if you click on the little links there it's magic and it adds it up to the top there and so you don't really have to know how to add it you just go there and it adds your PHP print um, right there so that's really what we want and I'm going to show you that uh, or rather these two things with um, with the code so just like in any other computer thing array start at zero um, or list start at zero so zero one two three is uh, one two three four Keep that in mind. And I'm going to take this um, and kind of steal this code over. I don't need the caption because that was from the other site. But this is so you can see a little bit of what's going on behind the scenes. Um, so if this is done correctly, basically what we've got here, um, let me zoom this in here for you. Um, the first two things I've got a PHP print node field picture status. So I want it to print the status so, so you guys can see what's going on. And then I wanted to print the actual picture, uh, the view that we've set up, or the, or the way we've set it up. 
Um, and then below I'm creating the table and this is uh, this is really what's going on uh, is I'm going to create a, uh, an op open a table because I want it to be there and it, you know even if it's not it'll be so much it won't be this big gigantic space it'll just be a little space if it's just uh, uh, if there actually is no pictures but um, as you can see you've got a PHP if node field picture zero or the first picture in in my uh, in my array uh, if it equals to one which means it's actually there the status is there um, then it's going to perform the if statement of uh, echo and then create my first row uh, with a with a certain width this width came over from the other side but I don't know it may work here um, and then add the view in there and then add the next column of the another TD add the next picture next column next picture next button you know so on and so forth for four, for four pictures um, so hopefully you can kind of see this going on here uh, echo that and I'll go back to this so you can see the code at some point in time um, but that's really one I want what I want to show you for right now um, I'm gonna go ahead and save this down uh, or actually I'm gonna affect the body first because I want it to be the same um, for this purposes you don't have to make them the same you can only show a couple if you want or it doesn't matter but I'm gonna go ahead and make it the same save it and then I'm gonna take a look at my front page now you can see there it is so my status is one sh shows the first picture out there and, and it's going to take all the views because we're just viewing the picture it's going to take all the views that we would normally have um, make sure I'm good on my time there we go um, so you can see all the pictures all that kind of stuff um, so that's a thumbnail of the shadow it's not really that important but um, I'm going to go back and edit my content template and take out these two items so you can see what it would look like without those two items um, refresh this there's my four images and this don't worry about this gray line um, I'll show you how to get rid of that later show something in the comments but uh, it's just something that, that you got to take and, and add to your uh, your CSS file um, so I'm going to go ahead and create some more content. I'm going to create another uh, picture. I'm going to add a whole bunch this time. Um, just so we can kind of see how this shows up when we have multiple pictures. And so if you saw the, fir the first page or the first time, um, there's no extra white space here because the if statement um, and that if statement is right here. The if statement says, "Oops, zoom this way." Um, if the status is e if the status for the pic for the start of the picture in that row is equal to one, then it goes ahead and spaces it out. And then um, if you know it don't if it only I've only got five pictures, obviously pictures six, seven, and eight. There's nothing there, so it's just going to error out when it gets to the view. But you know, for for that, so I don't have to add if statements for every picture, just the pictures I want, um, or just just to start the row. Let's go ahead and create that picture. We're just adding a bunch of stuff that I added for my likes as have my Tumblr account. Um, Save that, and depending on my internet connection, hopefully it gets up pretty good. There we go. So now, there we go. I've got what, nine photos out there, and it's adding them all out there the way it should. Space them out, put them out there. Um, really easy way to use Contemplate to uh, to display photos or, or not display information. Um, if you caught that, I'm just using it to just display the photos that I want. So, hope you enjoyed. If you got any questions. Uh, ask in the comments or um, send me an email or send me a, send me a note. Um, hopefully that helps you out and uh, helps you understand the, how Contemplate works a little better. See ya.